I don't know if I'm gonna get connections or we'll, we'll see. Hey, Cece. How are you, Cece? <laughs> hey, Linda. How are you, Linda? Oh, it's so rainy. It is so rainy. It was actually, it's 60 degrees here. So it's winter to me. That's winter. I'm like, all right, time for the Christmas music. Put the Christmas music on the radio. It's 60 degrees. Heated seats going. I got the heat on in my car. I'm good, Linda. It's, it's like one of those days where you just want to be in the house, right? I have, I'm busy today. So like, I'm, I just went from somewhere I'm doing this live now, and then I, ha I can't stay on too long, so I only have a little bit of time to stay on here, but I wanted to jump on in between um, me going out. Just when I think. <laughs> I'm good, Linda. Right now, I'm at my Dunkin'. This is my second refresher today. Hey, Drops, how are you? I wanted to ask you something. If the lady downstairs treating me mean, so Linda, so the thing about it is if someone, if you feel like somebody's treating you mean, if it's upsetting you, if it's affecting you, you just have to stay calm, right? The more you do the practice, you're using everything in your, everything in your life, guys, to practice calmness. Remember, it's an internal shift that happens first. I just made a video on this. You got to stay calm in order to get different results outside of you, right? There is no outside of you. It's all you having your own experience with your belief systems. That's all. These stories, that's why I tell you guys, the story doesn't matter, Linda. The fact that something's affecting you is all that matters. So now I get calm. I just relax. I stay quiet in that moment. And I know the more that I stay calm and quiet in these moments and I relax my body and I settle myself down, I will experience that less and less in my reality. You're only getting calm. You're only practicing calmness. I, I know it's hard to like understand that these stories really don't matter, but they really don't matter. It's the belief system behind the story. So the more you, the more you relax, the more you stay calm, you'll start to get that. You'll start to get it. Why? I'll tell you why. Because you'll, these stories, it's almost like they vanish from your life. They vanish. The story vanishes. It's almost like that experience never happened. The more you practice non-reaction, the more you remain calm, you really start to see that I am the creator of my reality. I am in control all the time when I remain calm, when I practice non-reaction, non okay? So, Linda, when something like that happens, so think about it like this, guys. If something's upsetting me, if something's affecting me, I only have to get calm. That's all. It's that simple. Keep it simple. Don't make it more complicated than that, right? Don't try to figure anything out in that moment. Don't worry about where it's coming from or why you're feeling that way. I know this doesn't serve me, so I'm just going to practice non-reaction. I'm going to use this to my advantage just to practice calmness, to settle myself down, right? The reason it is, it really is. Is that Heather? Is that Heather? It's because I, this is, I, I explain this to you through my experience because 
I'm not trying to figure anything out. I don't, it, it's too complicated when you're trying to, you're researching still, you're trying to make this more complicated. Where is this story coming from? Why is this person treating me this way? You're, you're, you're making it more complicated. It's very simple. It's very simple when you just practice calmness. Good, Linda. Then that's exactly your part. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to. By I, I, Linda, I'm just using you as an example. I wasn't saying you don't. I know you've been practicing this for a while. So you just continue to practice it. That's all. So when people tell me, um, the comment I got today was, uh, the question I got today is that I've been doing this for a long time, but nothing's going my way. And it's simple. It's because you haven't had that internal shift yet. You got to keep doing these practices because what's going to happen, guys, is that these stories are still going to show up in your reality until you made that internal shift within. What starts to happen is they, they continue to show, show up even when you had the internal shift, but you, your reaction to them is non-existent. You're unbothered at that point. It doesn't shake you. You kind of laugh and you're like, wow, that didn't even upset me. I know what, what I'm moving towards. I know, I know this. I know this doesn't affect, I know this doesn't matter anymore. So you start to understand this more. Now you're, you're doing great, Linda. You're doing great. Perfect. Linda, exactly. You just walk away from it. You don't engage in that. You don't engage in anything like that anymore, right? We, we don't engage in anything like that. We just walk away or we laugh it off, or we just, I, I always, I love the Charlie Brown, the, the Charlie Brown sound. Hi, Nikki. Yes, use it to your advantage, uh, Heather. Just keep practicing calmness. Keep settling yourself down. Keep soothing yourself. That's what all you're doing. It has to go your way. The thing about it is, is that sometimes you don't know. Like I, like things would happen to me, and I'd be like, "Why is this happening to me?" But I always went. I always stayed kept it to myself. I always stayed quiet. And went within and just remained calm. Even though it was like, why, why, why? I would ask those questions, but to myself, right? And it just continued getting better and better. It was just me releasing limiting beliefs. That's all it was. That's all it is. When something's happening in your reality that feels off and you're like, why is this happening to me? Don't speak about it. Keep it to yourself. Go within. That's why I say internalize it. Go within and you can say, why is this happening to me? But get calm when you say it. I promise you, it's only happening for you to release these limitations in your life. That, that's all it is. It's helping you move towards better and best in each moment. That, that's all that's happening now that you know what you know, okay? Hi, Kathy. Oh, Catherine, Catherine. Non-reaction is my manifestation technique. My manifestation technique is non-reaction, 100%. I think my I think my nose is running a little here. Hi, Jamie. You never react. That's um and Mia, Mia, you never react. You never react. You want to practice non-reaction and master non-reaction. You never react. This is the thing. Even when things start to manifest into your life, right? And things start to get better and your manifestations start to come in. You don't, you're, well, first of all, you're going to get so good at non-reaction. You're going to be very balanced in your energy all the time. That's what, that's what the result of this is. Reaction is, is always going to lead you to condition, conditional. Again, going back to conditions needing to be a certain way for you to feel good. You want to master non-reaction right? Like people say, does that mean I can't get excited? Of course you can get excited. You can experience all your emotions. You just always want to be able to balance your emotions out though, to get back in control, right? Because you never want to be dependent on things outside of you to be a certain way for you to feel good. That's conditional living. That's going back to old patterns. It needs to be unconditional. 
You need to get to a place by practicing non-reaction. You're going to get yourself to a place where you don't need things to be a certain way in order for you to feel good. I can feel good no matter what's happening around me. That's what these practices lead to. But the byproduct of that is that you keep, you move towards what's best for you, better and best, your manifestations in the best way possible. You're not just manifesting these things and settling for them by doing these techniques to get them and them coming in and you're still not happy and you're going back to old cycles. That's still conditional living. You're bringing these manifestations in the best way possible for you. That's, that's what this is leading you towards. This is why non-reaction is key. And this is why you're only practicing non-reaction. Hey, Ashley. How are you? Hi, Brenda. Question, though. If someone says something negative, do you literally ignore or respond? So, so Claire, when somebody says something that upsets you, doesn't matter if it's upsetting you, if it's triggering you, best thing to do is just to just stay completely silent. Because you want to practice, because it's not doing you any good by saying anything. Because this, it's the story doesn't matter. It's the belief behind the story. It's the limitation behind the story that's upsetting you. So it's really there's no point in saying anything, because the more that you do these practices, it's almost like that story that never existed. It's like it vanishes from your reality. That's why the, that's why we say the story doesn't matter. It's just a limitation in that story that's causing you to get upset because it's only you having your own experience with your limitations. You can say, okay, you can say, oh, I don't really see it that way, but sometimes that's still engaging and you're still activating it. So I found it best to stay silent. I just stay quiet and I kindly walk away, right? I'm not angry because that's still me reacting. I settle myself down always. No matter what, no matter what, practice settling yourself down before you do anything else. You know when people say just switch to a positive thought or just distract yourself by doing something else? First, settle yourself down though. Don't go right to doing something else because you're still activated. You're still upset. It's still within you. Always take a moment to calm yourself down and relax and just remind yourself that no. No, that doesn't exist. And then you'll feel better and you'll be moved to the next best thing. And you'll start experiencing that less and less in your reality. Does that make sense, Claire? <laughs> pretty much. Pretty because it's it's all an illusion. Just keep reminding yourself this is this is all just me having my own experience, right? I get like I'm just here to live an amazing life, right? This is all just an experience I'm having. So these stories are helping me. These unfavorable stories, these things that are causing me to react, that are causing me to get upset, they're actually helping me move towards better for myself, right? That, that's all it's doing. Don't worry about the people involved or the situation involved. Take as much as you can, calm yourself down and remind yourself, this is just an experience I'm having and I'm moving towards what I want by just getting calm, by just settling myself down. And like I said, you get better at it. You, you literally, you, you master it. You, you master it. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's everything. It's everything. And you'll start to see it more in your reality. You, you're just so in control. People always say, what about self-concept? Why would you have to do self-concept? The more you practice non-reaction, you have the best self-concept than anybody in that room. You're in pure alignment. You walk in, you're confident, your head's held high, you're secure, you're stable. You don't have to do self-concept work. Non-reaction takes care of all of that. Non-reaction is alignment. Non-reaction is alignment. You're only, you're, if you want to do this the easiest way possible, you're only practicing non-reaction. You're only practicing relaxing. You're only practicing calmness. If you want to still look outside of you and look for other ways to do things and still do things, you want to be in a doing energy, then that's fine too. That's your preference. Some people can't get out of that doing energy, feeling the need to do something. I got to do something to achieve something, but you don't have to do anything to achieve it. You're deprogramming. You're getting rid of all those programs that were instilled in you over time by, by practicing non-reaction. And that's it. Everything else will take care of itself. Your manifestations will come in in the best way possible for you. Always. So this is just the easiest way to do it. This is literally the easiest way to do it. Anything else is making it more complicated when you want to sit there and try to figure out where this limiting belief came from. You don't have to do any of that. You only got to get calm and relax. That's it. Everything else will, will take care of itself. Yeah, so I don't retell the story. I don't. 
but you can if you want. There's no wrong or right to what you decide. I never retell the story. I just get calm and I focus on this moment and what can I do now to feel good. That's what, what, what I do. Because for me, I don't even know what new story to tell. There's resistance in that for me, number one. And number two, I've learned over time, this is just from my own experience, that by telling the new story, I'm, I was limiting myself. Because we're so limited in this moment. We have, I, you always, like, it, try to be open to the ways things can unfold for you, even in the storytelling. Because when you're trying to tell a new story, you're kind of limiting yourself. But if that's helping you in that moment, then use it to your advantage, right? Because it's all about resistance. It's all about releasing resistance. So if it's feel, if you feel better by saying an affirmation in that moment, then do it. For, do it. You only know what's best for you, right, guys? And Claire, like you only know what's best for you. So it might feel better for you in that moment to say, "I'm always taken care of." Like at one point, that felt good to me. It felt good to me to say, "I'm always taken care of." I am always provided for, right? It, now I'm at a place where I don't say affirmations. I don't need to say them. I, I just don't. I just don't resonate with them anymore. But I was at one point where it felt good to say that because I was just still a little panicky too, right? I was still a little unsettled and not trusting fully. So for me, it felt good to say I'm always protected. I'm always taken care of, right? Right. So you only know you have to just listen to your body and trust yourself. You have to trust, but just know that you do start to get better at this and you um, can instantly go within and be led to the next best thing. So it's like, you just get better at it, right? I always think about like, I felt so bad when I, when my son was a baby and I did the, the Ferber method where he had to, he had to cry himself to sleep. I felt like I was crying outside his crib, but he was so good at putting himself to sleep after that. Like it was almost to the point where it was like, this was too good to be true, right? But that's basically what you're doing. You're just able to settle yourself down. I still don't know if I believe in that Ferber method. I never did it with any of my other kids because I felt, I still to this day feel bad about that. I'm not kidding. Hey, Christine. Hey, Johnny. Exactly. Yeah, Claire, exactly. That's why I say like, you know, I have expanded and grown over time. So my, the way I explain it changes as well. But I was at a place where that's what I was doing. I, I would say that I would say I'm always provided for. I'm always taken care of. I have everything I need in this moment. That was serving me with where I was at because I was still very, I was still unsettled a little bit. That's why I say like you will get better at knowing what's best for you. So when somebody says to me that, oh, I do these affirmations and they help me, do them then because if it's helping you, if it's helping you and you're feeling better in that moment, why wouldn't you do it, right? Like I always say, there's no wrong or right to any of this. As long as you're being consistent with practicing non-reaction, you can never make, well, you can never make a mistake anyway because this is just an experience. So right off the bat, you can literally never make a mistake. But when you're practicing relaxing, I'm telling you right now, you just keep getting led to more and better ways to do these things so, and understanding this more. I'm trying to speed talk because I can't stay on here for long because I have somewhere I have to go and I want to get home and get dressed because I'm in dress pants and they're not comfortable. Um, and I'm in heels. So I want to try to get home in between to get dressed because I have somewhere else I have to go. But I wanted to jump on here. So that's why I'm kind of like talking really quick, guys. I know everything. It's, it is always working out for you. Everything is working out. Everything's serving you. It's all serving you. It's all helping you move towards what's best for you, what you came here to experience. The plan you planned before you got here. You did, guys. You planned it before you got here. I know people can say, like, yes, you're creating and you get to pick and choose as you go. But for the most part, we planned this before we got here. We planned to live an amazing life. Uh, we, we planned all this before we got here. We planned for it to be easy, not for this to be hard, right? Bye, Catherine. Have a great day. Exactly, Mia, exactly. You have to practice calmness. You have to go within. You have, Mia, you have to learn how to be your own source of happiness as well. It's very important. That's what this practice is leading you to, Mia, is for you being able to feel good. Relaxing leads you to being able to feel good no matter what is happening around you. 
you, you're not trying to change a person. Don't think about the person and they need to do this and they need to do that so I can feel better. I need to feel good no matter how anything is, ha- what is happening. Out. That's what non-reaction is going to help you do. That's what calmness is going to help you do. Because th- life is, this experience, this reality, guys, it's a mirror. It's just reflecting back to you. you. It's reflecting back to you, you. That's it. So the more you practice non-reaction, the more you remain calm, you don't experience those things anymore. People treating you badly, being mean to you, disrespecting you. You don't, you don't experience that. You can't, you can't. Not when you've changed that, had that internal shift, right? Bye, Ashley. Have a great day. What's your tip for that what I'm telling you now, this is you following your intuition. I don't use the word intuition. I know my first book was intuition is simple, but I don't really use the word intuition because it's just more labels and it's more, it's confusing. Just keep practicing non-reaction. Keep remaining calm. Everything else will take care of itself, guys. It's like, it's, it really is, it's deeper than your thoughts. You're not training your thoughts. You're not reprogramming. That's surface level. That's very surface level. It's deeper than that. It's really about just getting calm and relaxing and slowing down your energy in those moments. And you're going to watch things transform in front of you. It's not, it, the thoughts will take care of themselves. That part will take care of itself, right? You just want to practice non-reaction. Like I said, everything else will take care of it, take care of itself. Thank you, Joe. You're so kind. Uh, and you got to also understand that this takes practice, guys. Like, I'm telling you, like I said, a lot of these stories are going to still show up. They're going to continue to show up, right? Because you didn't have a f- that full internal shift yet. Things do start to get better in your life and things do start to like get more quiet and more calm and you are living a more peaceful life, but stories still, unfavorable stories that are very dominant, they still continue to show up in your reality because you didn't have a full internal shift yet, right? So that's why it's like you keep, you just keep doing it over and over again until you're like, whoa, it doesn't even affect me anymore. I mastered this. You're using all these moments that don't feel good to you to practice this. I This is really important as well. Hey, Kennedy. This is one, something I really like to share because I think it's important to um, to know is that when something happens and it, and it upsets you, getting upset, as long as you keep it to yourself, if you're getting upset and you're calming yourself down and it leads to you crying, that's okay. That's actually not bad at all. You can surpass that and you will in time. You'll do that less and less. It, the main point is that you're softening and you're relaxing and you're not getting angry and you're not reacting and getting frustrated. I don't think getting like crying and, and calming yourself down is really reacting. I don't. As long as you're not staying in that, you're crying and then you're moving on because you start, you'll start to feel better when you do that, right? That's releasing resistance. You will, like I said, you'll do that less and less, but as long as you're not getting upset and you're like, why is this happening to me? And you're reacting that way. That's a shift in itself. When now you're kind of just, yeah, it is upsetting you, but you're still, you're still relaxing your body. You're still soft. You may cry, but you, you feel better and you move on. And like I said, that happens less and less as well. Yeah. Yes. That's key. That's key, Kennedy, right guys? Like that's what we're doing here. Like I said, you can manifest all you want by doing these techniques and surface level manifesting by thinking things into being and persisting and telling the new story, but that's very surface level. You, the reason why you're doing these things to get these manifestations is because you think the manifestation is going to make you feel good, but you want to, the, the by, the byproduct of my practice is you're going to feel good first and then they're going to come in the proper way for you. That's why I call it manifest, manifest properly, right? And it's just, it's, you go, well, the more you practice non-reaction, the more you meditate, the more you go calm and you practice calmness and relaxing and appreciate being, enjoying those moments when you get your favorite drink and stuff like that. You just really, you, you get it. 
You get it. You get how it really isn't about your thoughts. It's deeper than that. It's deeper than that, but it's easier than that. (laughs) I don't like to say the word deeper because it makes it sound more serious. It's not that serious. It's literally not. You become more light about life. You're, 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 you're more light. You're, you don't take things as serious. You laugh it off. You're enjoying life more, you know, like you just don't. And like I said, you just keep moving towards better and best guys. It's the secret. It's literally the secret to everything. Feeling good is the secret. It is. But you got to you gotta practice feeling good. And you do that by practicing non-reaction. Non-reaction helps you feel good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Exactly. Linda nailed it. Honestly, this is what happens. This is what happens to me. This is what started happening to me. I wasn't mad anymore at the situations. You have an internal shift where you kind of cry a little, but it's quick. You feel better. You move on. But I think that is, that's, that's a shift in itself. A positive shift is when you, you start getting upset, but you're still relaxed and you're keeping it to yourself and you just move on. And you, and that, that's also practicing non-reaction. And again, that will happen less and less as well. That will, so just trust the process. Just trust it. Did you experience times where you felt like you were moving backward? Always, always, Kennedy, always. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's why I always say this. You're, you're always moving forward. You always feel like you're moving backwards. That's the thing. But you're not. You're not. You're practicing. As long as you're practicing non-reaction, you're always moving forward. But the, the, the thing about it is, is that, this, like I said, the stories keep showing up. Because you're continuously doing these practices. You haven't had that full internal shift yet. That full internal shift. So they keep showing up. They're like, they're not, they're dying off. They're not as strong. But you're, that's why you're just doing this practice over and over again. Until you get to a point where you're unbothered. You're unbothered. You master it. You master it. So yes, you're, you're always moving forward. I know it feels like you're moving backwards. It does. It does. You know, it just does. But you're not. You're not. You are so not, guys. You are so not. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I mean, I used to have some big things that, like I said, they caused my body to shake. Like, I was shaking. I was literally shaking. I knew it was happening because I've been doing these practices. This is the funny, this is the thing that, the thing is, is that your life is going good. It keeps getting better, right? Right? And then you have these long gaps where it's like, whoa, everything's been so good. I can see it's getting better. I feel it. I know things are starting to come in. My life is getting better. And then something hits you. It literally hits you, but it's, it's there to see. Okay, girl. How, hey, I say girl, but hey, okay, girl, how good are you at this? Have you mastered it yet? But you are so aware though. You may, it may catch you, but you're like, absolutely not. And it may shake you a little, but you still overcome it. You're, you're still good. You're still moving forward when that happens. Don't get alarmed when things are going so good for a while and something sm- hits you out of nowhere. It's, you're going to be aware enough. You start becoming, you, you, you're like, oh, no, okay. I, I, okay, I know the, okay. I don't, why, like a little, like I'm a little shaken. I'm like, oh my God, why is this happening? Why, why? I thought this was gone, but I know, I know the drill. I know the drill. Calm myself down, relax my shoulders. Meanwhile, I'm shaking inside, right? And I'm sitting alone. I'm not speaking about it to nobody. I'm by myself, taking that moment to myself. It seems like whenever that happened, I was by myself. So I was like, thank you for that, right? And I would just get quiet and then it would disappear because I know how to do this, right? So let these stories come back up over and over again because you want to get good at this. Let them, let them come up, guys. You want to get good at this, right? Right? Yes, yes, Christine, yes. Yes, this is it. This is it. This is the practice. That's it. I cry too. You know what? I'm such a, like a little brat that like, I don't want to cry because I don't want to ruin my makeup, but I know I should cry. (laughs) I'm like, I know I should, I should get this out, but I don't want it because I don't want to ruin my makeup, but I calm myself down. And a lot of times I'll just like cry just a little and then I'll move on from, but you know the difference, right? Christine and guys, when like you cry, but then you're like, you know what? I, I feel okay now. Like, like I'm good. I got, and then you're back, you're back, you're back in it again. You're, you're back in that flow. You're, you're feeling good again. That, that's makes all the difference guys. That makes all the difference. You're elevating. 
You're out. It's like once you're in those higher energies, you can't go back. There's no going back. You can, you, I'm sorry, but none of us can go back now. We're always moving forward. Hey, Sally. Yes. And then you're going downhill and that's it. And if something does pop up just a tad, you're like, mm, uh, you go right over it. It's a little bump. You go right over it. You might fly a little in the air, but that's all right. That's fun too. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. I think it's funny because I'm like, I can't stay on all that long, but I, I want to try to get some stuff out like while I'm on here. I had a meltdown earlier. Uh, exactly. It's okay. It's like Abraham says, right? Like, at least you're not, it's like you keep moving up the emotional scale. I don't even pay attention to that. I just know that's what I'm doing, right? I just know what's internally what's happening to me because I'm starting to see the, the differences in my reality. You know, everything's reflecting back to me different. But you are where you are. But like I said, you just get better at it. You literally keep getting better at it. I've hit these energies, really. I don't care about Yeah, and you know what, Kennedy? You will start to care about your manifestations again. You do go through a... Pl pl like, I don't want anybody to ever think that... A lot of people say, like, oh, uh, you know, yes, you are focusing on yourself for a while, but your manifestation is important, too. It's not like... They're, they, they start to... You start to believe it more, and it starts to come in in the best way possible for you. It's going to come in the best way... And they're important too. Like, it's just, you don't want to be so hyper-focused on them. You're never going to detach completely from it because they're, everything's, everything's one anyway. Like, we can't detach from anything. Everything's all here. We're all one. All those things, oneness, all that stuff, right? So it's not really about, you're never like, you're just, you're not focused on it so much. You're more focused on yourself, feeling good on your own and doing these practices. Like, for me, I never really stopped wanting things or not wanting my manifestations or desires they just things just started coming in the best way possible for me right when I stopped doing things to get them when I just made this my only practice right just practicing calmness and practicing feeling good really feeling good no matter what's happening around me which is calmness they're all connected it's all connected non-reaction that's why I say you only got to practice relaxing because this takes care of all of it that take this 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 takes care of all of it this takes care of you focusing on yourself feeling good no matter what's happening around you but like I can honestly say I never really did it not want my manifestations I just started becoming aware of them and and more I was leaving myself open-minded to the way things can really come in for me the best case scenario for me right not settling when we're doing techniques to get something, we're so desperate to get something to feel good. And you don't want to go about it that way. You're, you're never going to be happy in that energy. Non-reaction is going to get you to a place where you're so stable. You're so secure. You're so, you feel good in your own skin. You don't really care what people think about you anymore, right? And you just keep getting moved to better and best, right? And then, like I said, your manifestations, they'll come in and they'll come in so good for you. You're not settling like you were before where you were like kind of desperate to get these things, right? So trust me when I say like, it's not really about you giving up on your manifestation. You're just thinking about, you're about, you're just doing these practices more. You're focusing more on doing these practices, feeling good on your own, being your own source of happiness. Like guys, I never thought I would be at a place where I'm so happy in my life right now. I never thought I would get here. It was so fake. I was so, I mean, I wanted it so bad. I, I wanted to feel good, right? And, and, and where I'm at in my life now, I feel good. I'm at peace. I like everything's reflecting back to me, my kids, everything. It's all good. Like I am at such a nice, calm place in my life. And I really, honestly, I never thought I would be there. I thought there would be still that effort behind it where I was like trying to feel good while I was cooking dinner or why I was food shopping or like, but now I'm past that. I'm past that because I kept practicing calmness. I kept practicing feeling good no matter what was happening around me like literally that's what I always practice I practice calmness relaxing practices and feeling good no matter what's happening around me I can make the best of any situation I'm not running away from anything that I'm living now I'm not running away from it I'm making the best of it that's key that is key that's what's going to bring everything into you the best way possible your manifestations ain't going anywhere they're not going anywhere you just want them like I said to come in the best way possible for you
if you're in a high vibe, you attract high vibe things. Yeah, Kelly, it's, that's what it is. I mean, your life is a mirror. We can't, we cannot change that. We can't change that life is a mirror reflecting back to us where we're at, right? But it's so powerful to know that. I think that's the greatest gift we have, right? Is to know that I know where I'm at in this moment. I know if I'm making something bigger than what it is. I know if I have a limitation. I don't even like to say, I like to keep it simple. If something doesn't feel good in this moment, I know I just have to get calm and release it. And it's literally that simple. That's it. I don't make it more complicated than that because I know I'm just moving towards best case scenario in each moment by just doing that alone, right? You start to get better at catching those moments when you're arguing, like Abraham says, arguing for your limitations. Like you start arguing with people in your mind, these stories that don't serve you anymore. And you're like trying to justify or trying to make people understand who you are. Like, no, you don't have to do that anymore. You just saw like, it's, you just are who you are and that's it. That's the bottom line. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it does. You start to feel, you start, you just, you're, you're not comparing yourself to anyone. You're not researching anymore. You're not trying to figure this out anymore. I can tell you right now, guys, through my experience, and I went down every lane trying to like learn about these things. You don't need to know any of it. You don't need to know about the subconscious mind. You don't need to know about like reprogramming your mind. You don't need to know that everything is a projection. You don't, you don't need to know any of that. It's, it's so much easier than that. It's, it's literally as simple as everything's reflecting back to you where you're at because this reality is a mirror, right? Everything's reflecting back to me where I'm at because it's me having my experience with my belief systems. And if I just get calm and I keep practicing this over and over again, it's going to lead me to everything I want in the best way possible. And that's it. That's a wrap. <laughs> Literally, that's all you need to know. And you know, like I said, you're going to find that out on yourself where you are is where you are. But you're going to find out if you keep practicing non reaction that you don't, this is so easy. This is so easy. And I'm all about easy. I'm all about easy. Get to the point. Tell me how to do this. How do I feel good? Because that's what we want anyway. Lead me to my best life. And that's it. <laughs> arguing. Yeah, you never want to argue for your limitations. You know, you you're here to have an amazing you are here to have an amazing experience and that's it. You know, people are like I said, people are either going to join you in this, they're going to match you or they're going to fade away. You know, and I know that from my experience, there's a lot of people in my life, I want them to come with me. I love my family. I love every one of them. But I know people will. People will open up to this. And they will. And some may not. And that's okay too. That's what, let people be who they want to be. Let people be who they, like, I like Abraham's, I don't know where I heard, I think it was Abraham. They'll catch up when they need, when they, they're, they're ready. People will catch up when they're ready, right? But you just got to keep moving forward what feels best for you. And like I said, people will come around. People will come around. Maybe not in this moment, but in time they will. Like I have, I've had experiences with people in my life that I didn't have a strong desire. Like if not, I don't like to use the word negative, but if they, we didn't vibe together, I was like, you know what? I don't really, whether like, I don't care. It sounds mean, but I didn't care if I still had them in my life or not. Right. And you know, I wanted the best for them. So like those people kind of just faded out of my life, but people that you have a desire to still like experience and have in your life, they will come along. Cause that's a, that's a desire of yours, right? So that's going to be on your mind. That's going to be, that's just something that will manifest in time, but just you make it about you and feeling good on your own and, you know, doing it, making it about you. Like I said, people will join you when they're ready. Because someone said to me yesterday, just know, Catherine, that you're moving towards it. My best advice for any of that, if you have, just know that like, you're moving towards that now because that's an intention you're setting, Catherine. And don't worry about how it's going to unfold. It'll just unfold. You won't even realize it, Catherine. If you're doing my practice, you won't even realize it. That's what happened to me. 
Exactly, exactly, Bobby, exactly. They either will or they won't. But that's not your job, right? That's not our job. It's not our job to, to force people to understand this, right? It's not our job. It's our job to keep moving towards what's best for us so we can have an amazing experience, right? Otherwise, you're selling yourself short by focusing too much on people wanting to get this. You can't. You just got to be an example and, and that's it. Um, somebody asked me a question. Whenever somebody asks me a certain question, sometimes I don't give the best answer right away because I'm like put on the spot a little bit. But she said, why? Or he said, why is it when you go into an environment and somebody is labeled toxic, why does everybody have the same story on that person? Well, that's because it's a dominant story because I've experienced it. If I went into a, a job where everybody said this person's toxic, everybody said it. And they wanted to tell me that right off the bat. But I knew enough about this to say, you know what? I want to have my own opinion. And I didn't have that same opinion as them. I didn't see that person as toxic. But because they've been around that person for so long, they had their story made up about this person. And they tried telling everybody that as soon as you came in. But I fought against it because I didn't see the same. I didn't see the same. You know, like, so it's, that's why that happens because that's what happens on our reality in general, that these stories become so dominant, right? News, social media, all these things in our life, they become so dominant because people put their focus and attention on it. They gather in groups, as Abraham would say, they talk about it, they keep it active and that's a part of our experience now, but it doesn't have to be a part of your experience because you know more now. <laughs> there only is love, right, Edwin? Exactly, Ashley. Exactly. It's all in your awareness. But people will, you know, like, like I said, when I first went to that job, it was like, everybody was like, oh, this, this person that and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like I just got here. Um, I'm not a sports fan. I'm just going to be honest, James. I know I'm from Philly. I, if I had to say I was an Eagles fan, I would say yes, because I'm from Philly, but I'm really not a sports fan. No problem, Catherine. Exactly, Brittany. Yeah, you do. You. The thing about this is, is that it's a gradual change. So it doesn't feel like right now it would feel so unbelievable to be a multimillionaire, right? I can't see that for myself, right? The same way going back in time, I couldn't see myself doing this. I couldn't see myself talking about this so confidently and doing lives like I do and making TikToks like I do. Back then, I couldn't see myself doing this, but it unfolded so naturally for me. It wasn't like I was ever forced to do anything. I wasn't ever pushed to do anything. It happened very smoothly for me, right? So me being a multimillionaire, I can't right now, I can't see that right now. I feel it now more and more because I understand how this works. I believe in this. I know how this works now. But like you got to understand that where you are now, when you're jumping ahead of something, you don't. It's too far. That's why these practices, it happens very gradually. Setting, you only need to have an intention. Having these intentions is enough. You're, and you don't even have to have the intention, guys. You can just say, I want to live my best life, whatever that may mean. I want to live the ultimate the ultimate best life, right? Take me there. What do I got to do to get there? And you do these practices, you will get there. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. But you got to understand that your reality is going to look the same. That it's going to look the same. It's a gradual change until you have like an, an internal shift within. Then things really start to roll in. It's almost like downhill, like Abraham says, right? Yeah, me too, Bobby. Like you get those moments. Like I, like Abraham would say it too. Like she would get these glimpses into how like the re how reality could be, and you, I get this excitement within because I know it's possible for me, right? And then you know, but I don't, I don't think of it. I don't try to do it. I don't. I just go with the flow of life. I know I'm being led to all that. I'm not trying to do anything to get these things. I'm just going with the flow of life. I know I'm being led to everything in the best way possible for me, right? And that's it. That's all you're ever doing. That, that's all you're ever doing. It's so much easier when you just, and, and I, can, I can say that's how it works because I can look back and see how far I've come, 
right? Like I never would have said like, guys, let me tell you, uh, you're talking to a girl who did not speak, did not speak. I did not speak in school. I did not speak when I started working at jobs. I was an observer my whole entire life. I was too shy to speak. You know, I never wanted to just, I was never one to jump in in conversations. I was very shy. I just, that was just my nature. And I am not that person anymore. I'm still quiet though. I don't really have much to say like in certain situations, but when it comes to this stuff, I have a lot to say, but I never thought that I would be able to do this. I never thought that, but I also wasn't like striving for this either. It wasn't something that I thought was a part of my plan. That's why I always say, take a step back and just let things evolve because you, you, when we're trying to manifest and say, I want it to be this way, there's so much limitation in that. And there's so much control in that. And again, you have no idea how things can unfold for you. You have no idea what's out here for you yet. You're like, I'm, we're so limited in this moment. Is taking a nap? Yes, yes. I, I, the queen of naps, I was never the queen of naps. I was never a napper. Let me tell you, definitely. Even if you don't fall asleep, April, and you're just kind of chilling out and you're just closing your eyes for a little bit and you're just enjoying that comfort in that moment, that's even enough. But yes, when you're asleep, you're, you're non-resistant. There's no resistance. That's why like when you wake up, you feel sometimes a little heavy, right? That's all normal. I love that, Brittany. I love that. Yes, you're moving towards that, Brittany. That's thinking bigger, right? I, guys, when I, I love this story too. When I first started doing this, you know, I used to say, I'm going to stay at my job and maybe I'll do it part time and do this part time. I wasn't doing this at the time, but I was doing stuff like this. And I'm like, I'll do like, that's how limited my mind was right? I wasn't thinking big. I wasn't thinking my, my own empire and doing what I love and only what I love when I want doing what I want. I wasn't thinking, I didn't think that was possible for me. Not at all. That's why you wanted to take a step back and do these practices. You want to practice calmness. You want to meditate. You want to do relaxing practices, practice appreciation, right? Appreciation is easy to practice. I never realized how easy it was until now, right? It's just embracing those moments when you're really feeling good, right? When you're in a nice warm shower or bath or massage or pedicure or drinking your favorite drink, sitting in the sunshine, laying on a float with your eyes closed, taking a nap, warm blanket in the mornings when you're so cozy, before you go to bed when you're so cozy, really embrace those. There's a lot of power in those moments. Exactly, Christine, exactly. You can, Kennedy, you can. It'll work out. It'll work out for you. Just trust the process. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Think about it as less as possible, Kennedy. You know, you never, like I said, Kennedy, like guys, I was jumping timelines. I was almost a police officer. And I said, do you really want to do this? Like, I, I always say it was my mom. I don't know why I felt, I heard my mom's voice say, Kira, she, she's not alive, by the way. But she, I, sw I swear I heard her voice say, Kira, do you really want to do this? That's what I, I felt. And I'm like, no, I don't. I don't. So I just kept continuing. I just kept sticking to meditating and doing these practices. And I mean, it wouldn't have been a wrong choice. Like I said, you can't make a wrong choice, but I do feel like I just kept jumping timelines. Yeah, Marta. I was, I, I was right at the very end. I was right at the very end. I had to do one more run. I had to do a long distance run and then I would have made it. And let me tell you, I am not a runner guys. And that was a lot of effort. I was trying to, um, I was, practicing running. What is that we say? Practicing running. Where's Nathan? I was running and trying to build up my stamina. And I'm like, this is hard. This is hard. Like, and I knew life shouldn't be hard. So I kept like, I just knew it wasn't the right, it wasn't the right path. That's good. Kennedy, you're right. You're right. You're doing the right thing. You could, you just, like I said, we're so unlimited. We're so unlimited guys. Ha, yeah, CC, not me, girl, not me. I ain't a runner and I ain't a track star. I never like to run. I was just saying, I probably bought, literally guys, I think I bought probably 10 treadmills in my lifetime. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. 
I've always wanted to try to run and I would get them cheap from Walmart for like the cheapest price, right? And I would get them and then I would give them away to like my family. I'd be like, does anybody want to treadmill again? I tried so hard, but it was like, th that's the thing. I tried so hard. I like to walk. That I like to do outside. I like that. But treadmills, I don't know how people do it. I felt like I was, I, I just felt like uh, this is, I don't know how people, I just literally, I don't know what I felt like. I was in prison, I guess. And I like to like do a light jog if I, if I feel like it, but I'm not like, I don't have to do it. Right. Sometimes I'm like, I get this burst of energy. Like I got to get out. I got to take a walk. I just don't love walking in my area. There's like too many people. There's too many people sitting outside and it's like, uh, I don't feel like chatting with everybody. I just want to like be by myself, take my little walk and then come home. <laughs> And I don't want to be rude or, you know what I mean? And not say hi to people, but it's like, you're like, hi, 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 hi. It's like, dude, like, what's the point? I'm, I'm better off just not doing the walk. Yeah. So working out has been something I'm started. I, I enjoy now because I don't pressure myself. It's not a job anymore. Right. It's as soon as something becomes like a job, it's not, nobody, you don't want to do it. Nobody wants to do it anymore. I'm sorry, but that's where we, that's where the energy shifts. Like, I have to do this. I have to work out. Well, guess what? I don't want to do it if I have to do it, right? So that's where it's like the energy shifts and you don't want to do it anymore. So once I started finding workouts that I enjoy, it, it all changed for me. And then if like, if I say like, you know what? I don't really want to do this today. I don't get mad at myself, but I end up usually doing it throughout the day. So yeah, so that's what I say, Bobby, right? Like, that's what I say. Like, as soon as I feel like I feel, I'm feeling like I have to do it, I need to take a break. I have to because I don't want it to become a job. I want to enjoy it. So I want to enjoy doing what I love. I don't want it to become a job. So if I ever feel any resistance, like you're saying, I always say, all right, let's take a little, we're going to, we're going to take a little break, but no, I love walking too. I really do. Hey, Raquel. Bye, Brenda. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I can't stay. I got to get all, I got to jump off. I got to go home and get dressed because I have somewhere else I have to go. Um, but I don't know what time I'll be home, if it'll be late or not. I did want to try to get on here, but I have to give myself a little time to go home and get ready. But I'll, I'll post this one on um, maybe tonight. Sometimes I can do it tonight when I get home. All right, guys, I love you guys. It was so great seeing you. Everybody have a great rest of your Saturday. Enjoy your Saturday, guys. Bye, guys. Love you guys. Thanks again, guys.